Welcome to Let's Play Solitaire, and thanks for joining us. Today we will be tackling a random game and not editing it. I will try my best to explain what I'm thinking to give you better tips and stuff. Uh, there's uh, these other videos I have too. You can take a look if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and get started here. First things first, I like to go for the columns and then work my way in the draw pile, save early cards in the draw pile's insurance, which you'll see plenty of later on. Let's just move what we can and uh, see what we can do here. So we move this, we can move this two of clubs, move this nine, 10. Can, oh yeah, we can move ace of clubs, two of clubs. I uh, gotta move this jack as well. And we can move this queen under the king. Okay, so we've got a pretty good uh, situation right here. We have an open column. We would like to maybe have a black king if we can. Because uh, then we can move this queen and open up another column. And we haven't really got to the draw pile yet. So this could be a good situation. But uh, sometimes uh, good situations don't turn out that way. It depends you know, on the columns and figuring out what's where and giving that out. So we'll see how this goes. This is going to be the insurance card for now. We will get to it. But we're going to see what's behind there. There it is. The king. That's what we want. We can move the queen, and more importantly, this two of diamonds right here, we can move that. We can move the three of diamonds, and we'll hold off on the four of diamonds, I believe. We're going to move that over there. Again, this jack is our insurance for now, so we'll see what else is behind here. We can move the eight. That's good. And we'll be able to move one of these black seven or er, not black sevens. Yeah, we'll not be able to move one of the black sevens. I was thinking we need a red seven here, not a black seven. So going through again. And the good news is this 10 is our insurance card, our new insurance card, our top insurance card. We will maybe play this jack in just a minute here. Let's see what else. Yeah, I think we play. I'm hesitant on dropping low cards, especially if there's no ace up here, because these cards can actually hinder us from making moves later on. Uh, we're going to play this nine right here. I think there was an eight, a red eight. We're going to play that on the next go around, and then we'll come back to this jack. Oh, the red eight has to move. Yeah. This, this, I may have to take this move back here, because this can bottleneck us. We'll, we'll see. We're going to play the spread eight. It's kind of a trade-off. You have one move you don't want to make, but you have one move you kind of want to make. And remember, there's a black seven here, too. So that black seven will allow us to move the six of diamonds underneath it and open up a column, which is what we want to do. Oh, that's really good. The ace of spades. Now we can move the two of spades up, so that's good. So going through again, and I believe, yeah, so our first move is going to be that jack right there. And we're going to move this 10 over here with it. We're going to open up the column. That's good. That's a seven of diamonds. That means we can move it and open up that column. We're going to move the three of hearts to there, open up this column. And uh, can't do anything with this yet. We may be able to later. We can move this three of clubs up. We can move this three of spades up. But do we want to? Because we want to get to this seven right here. Or this seven. We need to move either two cards or... I think it's five cards, right? Is we've moved one card so far in front of that. So this would be three, or two, three, four, five. I'm not sure if that sequence is going to work. We're going to try that for now. I think we're going to be one short because we need to, we want to get the seven out. So let's see here. Going to go through again. And we can move the six of spades. That's really good because then we can move this five of diamonds here. We can open up this uh, column. Oh, that's good. That's perfect. That's perfect, really. I think we're in a good spot. We got the four of clubs, five of clubs up. 
and uh, we'll get to the rest of this later. There's a king, king of spades. Oh, this is a good card there. Six of clubs can go up top, but should it? I'm going to hold off on that, just in case there's a move we miss here. If you got this tennis insurance, that's great. That's going to allow us to make pretty much all the moves we need here. So we will play the six up top. And we'll play the 10 the next time around, I believe. Yeah. So we're going to play this 10. And only going to play the 10. Don't fall into the trap of playing the 8 in the deuce. Because we want to drop this king. And if we play all those cards, we won't be able to drop this king. We could have this 9 as the first card. And that we can't really play that. So we don't want to do that. We want to move this queen under the king. So only going to play one card. And there it is, the king. That's what we want. But we're going to see what else is behind there. There's the seven clubs. That's good. We can move the six of diamonds here. That's good. We can also move this nine under the ten. And then we can move this jack as well. Yeah, so we're in a good spot, I think. We get the five of diamonds up. We can move this. Eh, we'll see going to go through again here. There's a seven of spades. And of course, six of hearts. We'll go back again. So here it is. Here's the king. And uh, there's nothing we can move behind that. So we could move the... T Let's see. Let me think this through here. We move the king. We're going to move the king and the eight because those are the two we can move. We're not going to drop this two. Well, actually, there's an ace here, so we can drop the two. We'll drop them all. So ace, two, three, four, spades up, hearts up, we'll move the rest of these spades. Five of spades, six of spades, uh, six of diamonds, seven of diamonds. We'll do clubs, seven and eight of clubs. And we'll just keep going up. Seven of diamonds, eight of diamonds, eight of clubs, or nine of clubs. And then we're going to move this ten of clubs up as well. Ten of clubs, jack of clubs. Okay, uh, let's see what we have here. We have the eight. We may have to go down one or two. We want to move this eight. I apologize. Oh no, no, we may have to move. Let's see what we have. Six of hearts up, seven of spades up. We need to get this ten of diamonds up. Well, we can because it's there. So ten of diamonds up. And. Uh, We'll go back again. That's what we have left. We can move eight of spades up. And, uh, yeah, we need to move this eight of hearts down and the nine of spades down. What we're going to do is take this jack of clubs. This is nice because we can use this foundation pile right here. Jack of clubs down. Ten of diamonds down. And then we're going to move this ten of clubs down. That will allow us to move the nine of clubs right here. That, more importantly, allows us to move the eight of hearts here. Nine of spades up. Seven of hearts up. And we solved it. So, that's pretty cool. That's done in a reasonable amount of time. And, of course, that is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching, and uh, good luck.